What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flat Out. We're back here at Pizza Willow where Adam's getting his first track day in and he's gonna you know, see what he can do hopefully today. Hopefully not spin out. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> not spin out. It's really cold. I think yeah. it's, last I checked it was like 30 degrees so somewhere in there, yeah. The track's gonna be cold, it's gonna take a while to warm up the tires, but you know, we'll see what happens.
Alright guys, so it's been a few days since we've been on the track and everything. You know, I kind of wanted a few days to kind of figure out what was going on with the car. When we were on track, I noticed the last set, or the third session we were running, the car was more sluggish than it should be. Decided to bring it in and, you know, just call the day right then and there because I didn't want to hurt it more than what it, you know, needs to be. When I got into the pits, I pulled my, co my code scanner out. I read the code. It was a P0610, which is a PCM malfunction or I think it's like a, a PCM configuration duration incomplete or something like that pretty much what that leads me to is that you know it took a dump on us which uh which is not like very common i would say i'm just gonna look into it or you know looking to get a new one well not a new one but a used one and have it reprogrammed for this car i did check out you know make sure that you know the motor sounds good spark plugs we have spark let's see i checked all the pins on the ecu make sure like none of them backed out made sure everything was clipped in properly but we're still having the same issues i'm gonna pick up a uh, ecu from rotary ryan here in a day or two and then we'll uh go to the dealership and have it reprogrammed which unfortunately that's the expensive part is getting it reprogrammed that's just ridiculous how much they charge for that but yeah so we're gonna get that done and hopefully that solves all of our issues and there's not like an underlying issue that caused it to happen i checked all the wiring you know on the harness and everything and everything looks good so it's kind of weird why it happened or how it happened um i even took the ecu um board out of the the box and just you know went over and checked the board out and see if anything looked discolored like it got fried or something and everything looks fine so it's kind of weird what's going on but the car is really running like crap you know even at idle and just like cruising around town so yeah so that was my adventure on issues at the track uh adam ran into an issue where um for some reason the four screws on the back of his alternator sheared off and that was causing a rattle noise at the track so he didn't want to push it either um but luckily he made it home you know even with the alternator being all screwed up but i have no idea how that even happens but um it did he got that fixed um other than that it's running good so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh it was really fun uh Hopefully we can get back out there soon and do another track day. Hopefully this time it's going to be more for focusing on getting our SCCA time trial license and uh, instead of just being a normal track day. So I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one.